Hi Virgo, this is Jackie Tomlin. This is your general reading for the week of January 11th, 2021. Thank you guys for stopping by. As always, if you're enjoying these videos, please take the time to like, share, subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. If you guys are seeking a psychic reading, contact me at JackieTomlin.com. I'll find a link to all that I offer in the description box below this video. All right, guys, um, what we've got going on. First of all, there's a brief, very brief in passing. There's a glimpse of your temper. Okay. Um, there's good news coming in that you're going to be ready to celebrate, but it's not, not what you thought it was going to be. Okay. There's also new money coming in. It is definitely a week of total victory and a week of getting what you want. And your drive for success is very high. And you're going to be really, really busy at work. Okay, so Virgo, what we got going on for you, we start with, there's that new money, Ten of Pentacles. Highest financial card in the deck, there's new money coming into play. With that, I have the Four of Cups. Now, the Four of Cups is coming in as an unexpected offer, probably in love life when you least expect it. Maybe not who you thought it was coming from, but it like comes out in a dark hour, okay? Something that's going to brighten your day. Two of Pentacles, financial balance is being restored, feeling more confident where you are financially. Now, there's the Nine of Swords energy. We will be clarifying these cards. Nine of Swords shows me, Virgo, you've got a loss of sleep going on. And with that, we have kind of like what I want to call the prelude to the tower. It's cutting the chains, cutting the bond. That comes in the center of your reading, by the way. And with that, I'm also looking at, we have the Two of Wands. Ooh, travel plans. Travel plans. Which direction are you going? Also, know this. I don't think you guys are traveling alone. This is very exciting. This is somewhere um, that you've been wanting to visit. And it's like the city or the country. Which way are you going? But I don't think you're going alone. Moving forward, we have the Empress, the Mother card, the everything positive on the home front, positive changes at home. With that, we have the Six of Swords, a breakthrough, okay? Six of Swords, overcoming all obstacles, overcoming everything. Um, This is the, how do you say Light at the end of the tun tunnel. This is that good news I said that you're going to be willing to celebrate. That's it. And we have the five pentacles. There's a financial blessing coming in. That's in addition to the new money here at the beginning of your reading. So, Virgo, let's jump in and clarify. And like I said, these are short general readings to which I really hope something resonates with you. But if you guys are seeking a personal reading... Contact me at JackieTomlin.com. Okay, so what we're looking for. The Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is with the hangman energy. Okay? It shows that you are feeling stuck. I don't know why you're feeling stuck with all this new money, but you're feeling stuck. And then that love offer that's coming in that you're excited about. Comes in with the Two of Pentacles, which ironically is the card right beside this. Showing financial balance has been restored. But whoever this love offer is coming in, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be exciting. It's like kind of making you feel like a little kid again. So yeah, exciting energy there. Two of Pentacles, financial um, being restored, shows the Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands is completion. The end of a cycle, a new path opening. The end of a project, completion of a project, something new about to commence. The Nine of Swords with the loss of sleep. You have strength. You have strength on your side to overcome whatever is presented to you. So this loss of sleep, I'm going to describe as being brief and passing. Because right beside that, and this was in the center of your reading that radiates around everything, was breaking of the bonds and breaking of chains. With the devil card energy, that shady person that no longer serves a purpose. 
this is who you're cutting your ties with and who you're cutting your bonds with. After that, the travel, that excitement and the travel. Wow. Four of Wands. New partner. Something new in the love life here. Um, this could be travel by water. I said you're picking between the city and the country. Um, this could be lake, river, ocean, something to that. Um, this could also be an offer of commitment. Um, like, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend titles. It could also be, uh, living together, anything like that. But it looks like it's definitely new. And then we have the new and exciting changes on the home front with the Empress. This is someone moving in the home, someone moving out the home, coming in with that Knight of Wands. The Six of Swords, the breakthrough, the light at the end of the tunnel, tells you don't overthink things because that breakthrough is going to happen. If you look at the cups before you, they're overturned. But if you look in the background, there's the lighthouse, there's the light, and there's the cups upright. You just need to turn around. And we have the Five of Coins coming in as another financial blessing coming in the spring with Ace of Wands. So Virgo, let's throw you down one bonus card. Five of Swords. You're too defensive. Let your guard down. Someone's done you wrong. You're cutting the ties. You're cutting the chains. You got the strength to pull through. But let your defense down because that Four of Wands comes right beside that. Virgo, I think you got a brilliant reading. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to check out your other videos and contact me at JackieTomlin.com if you're seeking a personal reading. Bye.